So here we are back in the Woodson Research Center again. One of my favorite collections here that actually has been substantively most important in my work, uh, but also is just fun, is called the Early Rice Institute Papers. Most of it consists of the business papers, financial records, and some personal correspondence of William Marsh Rice, who, as we all know, was the source of the fortune that built the Rice Institute. The second piece of the collection is made up almost entirely of records of the, the murder trial of William Marsh Rice. One of the great things in here is a set of bound volumes of newspaper clippings from the trial. Very quickly after uh, Mr. Rice's death, uh, Captain Baker, who was the chairman of the Rice Board of Trustees, understood that something was amiss. And so the very first volume begins with clippings from September of 1900, not long after Rice was dead. Mystery enshrouds millionaire's death. And there are probably I don't know, eight or ten volumes that go all the way through the conclusion of the trial. If you sit down and look at these clippings, there are several things that just leap out at you. The first thing that right in the face is that human nature is human nature. This is a sensational murder case. This eccentric millionaire is murdered by his valet and his New York lawyer in order for them to get their, to get his fortune away from the Rice Institute in Houston. It is a sensational story. So it's a story that has everything in it and including a great hero, right? We have the villains who are the valet and the New York lawyer and in from Houston sweeps Captain James A. Baker, Mr. Rice's trusted friend and Texas lawyer to save the day, and he does it. It would be almost impossible to overstate how big this murder trial was in the media, and the press simply could not get enough of it. They were in the courtroom every day, every twist, every turn, in, in the courtroom drama was covered by every single paper. There is uh, betrayal, there is money, there is hypnotism, there is poison, forged checks, and all of it fed into the media every, every single day for the entire duration of the trial and beyond, to the point where when the Rice Institute finally opens its doors in 1912, the headlines still talk about how the fortune of the murdered man led to the creation of this institute. 